can't. I can't with you. What? <laughs> I first started getting into content with Steve. Like, I was watching Minecraft YouTubers when I was in 2015. I was like, damn, I'll fucking do that. I started two years ago, started making CSGO content on my Instagram, and then, like, I was in a few orgs before that, and then I just, I would, because the thing was for me is that I, I, start, I was a CSGO pro, and then from CSGO pro I went for content, because I, I, I realized that playing CSGO 24-7, seven days a week, literally when I got home, was really bad for your mental health, so I just stopped doing that. And I, the scene just kind of forgot about me, and I was like, oh, that's fine. And I started making content. And then I joined Onco, and then after Onco, I joined EM. Yeah. So that's kind of where I started. Uh, I started, i say about four or five years ago. You're old. Yeah. <laughs> I had nothing better to do in the barracks. <laughs> that's fair. I mean, what do you, it's either that or drink. Did a lot of that, too. <laughs> Usually simultaneously. No, I started about probably about four or five years ago, and then I just did it off content. Like I'd go back and flip miscellaneous stuff, throw it up on Instagram and Twitter, and see what clicked. But I didn't take it seriously till about two years ago. About two years ago is when I actually started investing in all my setup stuff, and that's when I started actually paying for advertisements and all that other stuff. I found out it's not helpful. <laughs> I mean, it, it, I guess it did help. I mean, you're here. I, mean, I played, I played Apex competitively. I'm just gonna leave it at that. That was miserable. I bet it was. To this day, still miserable, and I still play it. <laughs> I'll never be as miserable as CS:GO though. Probably Michael Reeves. He's that uh, that tech YouTuber that does all the coding. Any using. relation to Keanu? No, he's no. Filipino. But yeah, I know he could be Filipino. No, he's white. Could be, though. He could. I mean, you're Mexican. Yeah, I guess you're right. But, like, I don't think I don't think Michael or Keanu Reeves is Filipino. Me neither. But Michael Reeves is Filipino, and he's a short, busty Asian man who makes things to taste people for some reason. Yeah, I, I, the thing that's for me, for the reason I like him so much is that my content is crackhead. His content is crackhead. And I just... Me and him have like a similarity, so like for me, Michael Reese was just the obvious answer. Tim the fat man. Tim. I will be like Tim one day. One I will day. Make slightly above average gameplay for millions of people. <laughs> but if it's on Apex, it's a totally different story. You'll actually be cracked. It's the one game I'm good at. It must it's be the nice. one game I don't like to play. It must be nice. <laughs> it's uh, that's how these content creators are these days, though. It's like I suck at I'm I, I'm really good at this game, but I. It. Like if I can make GTA content, or Rainbow Six content, or Valorant content, games I've actually enjoyed playing lately, that'd be fine. And then there's Apex. <laughs> and I've been a pred like nine seasons in a row, and I just am miserable every single time. <laughs> and then I hop back on the following season and I do it again. <laughs> But the gaming house started, I guess, uh, I would say about eight months, a year ago. I think when, because for the longest time I, when I joined him, I wanted to do a gaming house. And it, it within the, the script of the, the staff within him, you know, it, it, it was a talk. It was just a talking point. It was never like something that we would actually do. You know, it'd be like, oh yeah, it's cool that, you know, if we had a gaming house, we could pull out all this content and... Um, all that, but it never again every time we talked to him about it and we thought about it It never happened and of course I was gonna do with another EM member But he and I was just like well it's just another talking point and then when I started playing with you it, it just came up as a conversation like hey, what if we did a gaming house? 
well, what would what would it be like? And then Merc was like, if you fuck come over here, we'll do it. And I was like, you know what? I'm 19. Definitely some like G Fuel reviews, like when G Fuel stuff drops. Um, I have money. Yeah. Um, I have a G Fuel tub code I might be able to use. Um, yeah, just just a bunch of that, just a bunch of GP reviews, a bunch of uh, purple reviews. In fact, I'm working on a Steel Series product review. Uh, uh, montages. If he doesn't want to put any montages, I'll put some montages up. Just a uh, IRL content. I'm gonna IRL. force him to go golfing with me. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fun. We're gonna go golfing. I don't know how it's gonna be because I'm left-handed, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll have to find the one set of clubs in Missouri that are made for left-handed people. <laughs> yeah. Golfing. What a fishing vlog. Uh, Dreamhack. Dreamhack. Uh, Fragfest. Fragfest, yeah. Fragfest at the end of this month. People think, like, I'm this huge history tank nerd, which is true. It's true. Yeah, I am. But there's more to me than just that, you know? Not as much of a douchebag as people think I am, that's for sure. Yeah. I'm actually a really nice guy. He really is. I have, I've had this, like, apparently I'm a... I'm a, I'm a douche fan. You know, it's cool. So people keep people keep thinking that. But I don't know why. One to ten. Considering he locks the door in an apartment <laughs> full of grown adults, like he thinks I'm gonna walk in there while he's sleeping and spit in his mouth. <laughs> I would put him at a solid like eight right now. What? Maybe a seven. Is that is that the only thing that makes me weird? You don't want to get me started. What? <laughs> oh, just because I I ask like random questions about like do you guys do daylight savings and all that? You're right, nine. <laughs> <laughs> How normal is Merc from one to ten? I give him a seven. I, I think he's pretty normal, but that it, it, I guess it defines what I consider normal. Cause see, I'm from a different state, so I consider. No, 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 don't, don't say different state. You're from Cali. Ain't nothing normal in Cali. There is normal in Cali. Just don't go to like certain areas, you like Stockton. Our grocery bags are weird. Yeah, that's. Kind I'm of... sorry. It's forty nine to one. <laughs> plastic bags rock. <laughs> we used to have plastic bags. We used to be part of the club. It's just that you know some environmental. Now your whole state is the weirdos, the, the oddballs out. Yeah, we do recycle a lot too. I don't. It throws me off that you guys don't recycle that much. I don't recycle the days since I moved to Missouri. It, it's just weird to me. Like, I get, I, we would get money to get re, to reser, return our recycling stuff, but you guys don't. Nope. Like what? I wish we did to fill up my gas tank. Dude, it'd be so nice. Uh, women. Women. I don't even have to answer that without quite like thinking about it. Just women. Bending Sportsmanship. Over. Yeah. Crackhead. Rephrase that. Crazy. There we go. Weird. <laughs> Abnormal. Abnormal. Yeah. Friends lucky. Yeah. Okay. Fat. <laughs> and I'm sexy. Yeah. I can see that. I mean, every picture I take you, you look like a dad. I'm like, dads are in. Dads are in. Dads are really in. Because you were poor. I wasn't poor. And because I didn't have friends. No, it was just, <laughs> for me, it was just like, the idea started, and then I was like, well, I guess I gotta save some money now. Because every, you know, as a high schooler, you know, you were just like, whatever had money you had, you used it to improve, like, your setup as a streamer, a high school streamer. So, like, for me, it was just like, oh, I mean, I have to save money now. I'm going to be honest. I had a stable one grand for that whole time. And then once I realized I had to get more, I literally worked overtime <laughs> to get more. <laughs> and you still barely made it here. I still barely made it here. Like, for real. Like, I... Oh my god. When I came here, I had $30 to my name. That's all I had. There wasn't... There wasn't... And two t-shirts. No. <laughs> I had a duffel bag of clothes, but... 
It, it was definitely close. And a broken monitor. And a broken monitor. And a broken heat sink. And a broken heat sink. But somehow I'm still alive. Alright guys, that's gonna be the end of the podcast. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did drop a like, subscribe. If you're new, take care, stay safe, and goodbye. Mm-hmm.